Severe weather and strong thunderstorms, those are things we talk about all the time this time of year. And you know what? There's one spot that really sees its fair share of tornadic activity. That's called Tornado Alley, and it is roughly out in the central portions of the United States. Now, the boundaries of it are debatable, but really when you get into the plains, that's where we have the perfect setup for all of this and all this strong thunderstorm activity. But you might be wondering, well, why is that? Simply put, it comes down to the geography of the region. So if we were to have mountains that stretched from west to east, well, we'd be able to do something. We'd be able to keep some of that cool, dry air to the north trapped up in the north. That warm, moist air to the south of us, that'd stay in the Gulf. But we don't have mountains like that. When you look at the mountain ranges across the United States, you got the Rockies, you got the Appalachians. They kind of have that southerly to northerly orientation. So what does that do? Well, that actually allows that cold, dry air to the north to move on in, move south, and then that warm, moist air from the south to move on in upwards to the north. And these two air masses then clash, and that helps to form thunderstorms. And then you throw on top of that the fact that we've got very cold, dry air high in the atmosphere atmosphere, strong winds as well with the jet stream, and that allows any storm systems that do develop to really stretch high into the atmosphere. And if the conditions are just right, you can get the wind fields just right. You can actually get these storms to start rotating. And there's actually only one place in the world where all this really sets up. That is over Tornado Alley. In fact, when you actually look at the number of violent tornadoes and those strong violent tornadoes, those are EF3 or stronger. They rarely happen outside of the United States, and the reason for that is because we have all the perfect setup in Tornado Alley. I'm meteorologist Jeff Booth.